experiencia que tuvimos en el Homestead Miami Speedway con Ferrari Norteamérica. Eh, fuimos después, digamos, viajamos al centro de Miami, a Brico, para estar con eh, Toyota en la presentación regional del nuevo Corolla 2014. Y aunque ya aquí en este show hemos hablado algunas veces del Corolla 2014 que fue presentado inicialmente allá en Santa Mónica, en California, hace dos, eh, un par de meses, la Toyota está haciendo un tour por todo el país presentando este nuevo modelo que sin duda es el, uno de los de más venta acá en Estados Unidos después del Camry. Eh, el Corolla espera vender más de 300 mil unidades del Toyota Corolla en el 2014. Así que si va un poco más rápido de esas cifras, son cerca de mil autos todos los días. Una cosa increíble y además el Toyota Corolla 2014 se fabrica acá ahora en Estados Unidos. Así que vamos a hablar con Jim Collin de Toyota Communications para hablar del... Toyota Corolla 2014. Uh, Jim, uh, thank you very much for uh, coming to Miami for a change. For me, I always go around uh, the country um, uh, to LA a lot where Toyota is. But now you're here in Miami doing a regional event for the new Corolla. Yeah, we're here for the, the regional Corolla press events. Yeah. And it's ex ex it's really exciting to be here in Miami. It's important for us. Yeah, Miami is a, it's a, it's a quite a, a special uh, operation for you guys because uh, It's a very important market, but it's kind of uh, its own operation right here, right? I yeah. understand. Yeah, um, our cars here are sold by our private distributor, the Southeast Toyota. So um, we have a unique partnership with them, and, and they do a terrific job for us. Yeah, one of the most important markets. I believe that the biggest uh, dealership is still in LA, right? Longo. <laughs> <laughs> Longo, and I, I think there's another dealership. Uh, right here, that's always been one of the top. Kendall dealers. Toyota. Yeah, Kendall yeah. Toyota has been one of the top dealerships in yeah. the country. And this car obviously is very, very important for you guys. I mean, the, um, it's one of the, the most sold cars in the world, period. I mean, so it's not yeah, only important for Toyota. Yeah. So um, the car is already on sale, uh, and uh, I guess it's doing really well. I mean, even from like the figures that you just shared with us uh, today, I mean, you expect to sell over 300,000 cars in a year? That's almost a thousand cars every day. Uh, we're going to sell, you know, I mean, the industry is doing well right now. So oh, absolutely. I think 300,000 is going to be a, um, a pretty solid target for us by the end of the year. Next year, we think the Corolla will sell uh, almost 330,000 cars. So we, we've got a, we've probably got a pretty aggressive sales plan. Yeah. Uh, and the car supports it because, I mean, the car is fabulous. It's very, very different from the previous generation. This is the 11th generation, right? Absolutely. And uh, this looks much more modern, as, as you were saying before. Uh, the, the whole industry is going that way. People want more for less. And uh, you're giving a lot for this <laughs> kind of car. Well, I think the expectations for the consumer have changed. Uh, there is a expectation on styling. There's an ex expectation on performance. There's an expectation on what they consider the features that they want in the automobile and and uh, customers are you know they don't they don't move off of those expectations so yeah, they want more, <laughs> more they only want more so you have to do your best to put together what I, what I think we've done with Corolla is a pretty solid package yeah. that we think is going to attract a, a wide range of buyers yeah both your design and engineering teams have do fabulous job but how challenging is that because i mean technology has allowed to like lower prices and some things but uh I mean, obviously, it's talent behind these people, right? Like, who make the decisions, like how it's got the car going to look, what content is going to happen on it. And, uh, but it's still very challenging because the competition, even though you're number one probably in this segment, but uh, it's still pretty, com very competitive segment. Uh, a, a very competitive segment. Now, we we were not number one in this segment. We were the the number two selling car with a vehicle that we had introduced back in 2008. Yeah. So. Um, I think our aspirations are to, to for a leadership role in the segment, but we, you, you just talked about the styling and, and the value of the vehicle. I think all of those elements make a great package in this automobile, and, and I just think that younger buyers in particular are going to look at this car and go, okay, that's something that I'm interested in driving, that's something that I want. Rather than something I want to be looking at. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because before, I mean, to be completely honest, the, the Corolla was like an entry level car for a lot of people. Yeah. And now, as you say, like the design is completely different. I mean, some people probably don't even recognize it as a Corolla, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is a good thing in this well, case. That, that may be a very good thing. But I, I, I think when you look at the car and you look at some of the colors and some of the features and the technology that's in the car, it makes a really, really solid package. And, and I think customers are going to recognize that immediately. Yeah. So the most you can spend on this car is around 20,000, right? But yeah. that's like 
completely loaded. Yeah. So it starts at sixteen thousand eight hundred dollars. So uh, you, you know, I think we cover a broad spectrum in that subcompact market that is going to be a very attractive, and people are going to realize how much they're getting for their money. Excellent. Well, thank you very much again for uh, having us here in Miami and for coming here. You should come more often. I, I certainly should, especially <laughs> if we can spend an evening like I think we're going to spend tonight. Yeah, though, fortunately, this is radio where people are not there looking uh, around. <laughs> it's like a, a beautiful place here in Miami. So thank you very much again. Okay, thank you. Esa fue la entrevista que tuvimos con Jim Colom del equipo de comunicaciones de Toyota hablando sobre el Corolla 2014. Eh, que terminó su tour de presentación nacional en Estados Unidos en Miami y donde se anunció que ahora el Toyota Corolla será fabricado y exportado desde Estados Unidos a 18 mercados de América Latina. Y cuando regresemos aquí en Auto 060 vamos a otra experiencia en el Homestead Miami Speedway, esta vez con la Nismo Performance Academy. No se vayan, esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota.